Hey all. Hold on, let me get closer here. This is James here. I'm gonna do my small cassette collection video. It's my first collection video for this channel. Uh, right now I'm listening to and my first to the shop is Cement. This is the second band from uh, Chuck Mosley, who used to be um, the lead singer of Fate No More for the first two albums. We have Aerosmith's Greatest Hits, Uriah Heat, The Best of Uriah Heat. I finally did listen to it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I listened to one side of it. I kind of wasn't paying attention, but what I heard wasn't bad. Harry Belafonte, All Time Greatest Hits, Volume 3. Oh, Blair. Look at that. Volume 2 of Elvis, The Legendary Performer. Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, another embarrassing own. But I used to love the show, that's why I bought it when I was younger. California Dreams. <laughs> yes, if anybody remembers that TNBC show. And if you can remember what TNBC was. Another, just because I was a Turtles fan, coming out of our shells. <laughs> out of their shells. They actually had a live cassette too, which is freaking hilarious, but I can't find that one. Yeah, Misfits Legacy of Brutality. And we already seen this one, Kids Incorporated. This is a volume one of Cruising Classics. This was a, let's see, it's similar. This was a back in, when was it? 89. They got eight gallons of gas. We got these for like a couple of bucks at shell stations. I mean, he used to, my dad actually used to have the entire collection of them. There was three volumes and then they came out with another three volumes later on. Um, we got Firehouse. We got Seven Year Bitch Sick'em. This one's actually... My friend saw them live and got it autographed by a few of the members of the band. Got Metallica Load. Weird Al Yankovic's in 3D. Love my Weird Al. A weird looking special twin pack cover for Black Sabbath. We sold our soul for rock and roll by one or two. I think this was printed in Canada. Or something like that. I don't know where it was from. But it's not like the normal like cover or anything like that. And then we got a bootleg Black Sabbath concert. Welcome to the Electric Funeral from 1978, recorded in London, England. The thing that sucked about it though is they didn't have it labeled, so I actually had to listen to it and then label it with a magic marker, a side A and side B. But it's actually a really good recorded concert. We got the soundtrack to Back to the Beach, if anybody remembers the last beach movie with Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello, Peter Hermendus Surfing Bird on it. I think it's actually on the soundtrack too, yes it is. We got Voivod, Roar. I actually have owned this set for a long time. I actually, when I was younger, found it at a rummage sale and I bought it because of the second track, its title, Fuck Off and Die. That right there got me to buy it, Fuck Off and Die. <laughs> Voivod, Nothing Face. This album actually sucks compared to Roar. Not good at all. Then we got the Dream a Little Dream soundtrack. Good music on this for this movie, even though the movie's not degraded. But it's still pretty good. Original Fate No More We Care A Lot cassette. Mortem Records, 1987. We Care A Lot Publishing. So this is the, um, before they made it to Epic. Then we have a Fate No More bootleg concert from 1990. It's only on one side, so I always have to rewind it afterwards. Then we got a bootleg Mr. Bungle concert. I'm just showing these ones off because they're bootleg concerts. Then we got Stray Cats, built for speed. We got that weird looking cassette case, Roy Clark, the entertainer. Bumps, the Hunter Mask 2 audio book. Got NXT 
NXS, live, baby, live. Pretty good live album, actually. Here in the NXS. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Long After Dark. I actually listened to this, and it's actually a really good album by them. But how many hits off of that one? Got Crocus, The Blitz, which I have not listened to yet. ZZ Top, Eliminator. Cindy Lauper, She's So Unusual. Lita, Lita Ford. And Samantha Fox, Touch Me. But the big hit on it was... Actually, I forget what the hit was on here. Maybe it was Touch Me, I Want Your Body. <laughs> then I got some cassette singles. We got the uh, Crowded House Trees. Or Tall Trees and Rock Sets. Joyride from the Cinnamon Mini Bun Cereal, which I miss. I wish that was still around. We got Martika's Toy Soldiers. DNA featuring Suzanne Vega, Tom's Diner. And Prince's Bat Dance. We got a few without cases, which is Body Count, the one with Hot Killer on it. Megadeth, so far, so good, so what? And then the cassette single for Once Bitten, Twice Shy by Great White. The reason why I kept this around was the third song, Wasted, Walk R Wasted Rock Ranger, was only released on this single. Alright, so that's it for my cassettes collection. Not the biggest collection, but and it just all fell down. But I do got one question for everybody out there in the CC and VC. Does anybody else like this with me? I always have to have a, a little OCD here. I always have to have the tape ready to play side one, and side one has to be showing under the flap. Uh, that's how I want my cassettes. If I buy them and they're halfway through or they're on the second side, I will fast forward to get to side one. Because with cassettes, I always listen to the first side and the second side, and then I, I always listen to them all the way through. So if anybody else does that, or if anybody else has, always has to have their cassettes this way, let me know. So let me know in the comments. I'd like to know if anybody else is like that. It's got to be side one, ready to go on side one. But all right. Uh, this is James saying, see y'all next time.